Hi everyone, my name is Danielle and I run the Cronlinton Young Writers Group. I'm also a theatre maker, a facilitator for writing and theatre and I'm also a children's playwright. Today's workshop is going to be around writing for mindfulness. So mindfulness for me is almost like training in the mind. So I struggle with anxiety. So I practice mindfulness to help give me clarity, to help me reconnect, to feel present, to give me a sense of self and to bring a sense of calmness into my day, um, into my practice and into my work and to help me reflect. It also helps my creative brain. So free my mind from distractions, to allow it to explore ideas. I'm a total overthinker and I know a lot of us are and overthinking blocks any creative energy that's coming to me and blocks all my creative ideas. So I find mindfulness practice really useful um, to help get that creative energy flowing and to help me start my writing practice with the right mindset. If you haven't practiced mindfulness before or haven't done any form of mindfulness before, don't worry about that. Um, that won't be a burden and don't feel overwhelmed by that either. These are really simple exercises and also exercises that don't necessarily feel like you're going totally into a fully formed mindfulness routine. I just want you to accept the way that you're feeling in the present moment at any moment when we're going to be writing. And I just want you to accept those feelings, don't judge them or focus on them too much. Just let them pass and focus on the present. So throughout today, if for example, you are going to be doing one writing task and I'm asking you to think about what you can smell, for example, I just want you to um, try and focus on that. If other things come through your mind, this is a, a, a practice of mindfulness, if other things pop into your mind, I don't want you to start going, oh God, I'm starting to think about that and then this and then this because things trail along. I want you to just accept that that popped into your mind and just let it go out the other ear. So it might be, what am I having for tea again? Oh, spaghetti bolognese. Oh, I need to make this. And it just trails. So instead, just notice what you've, you've thought of. What am I having for tea again? Oh, and then pop back to the writing exercise. And that's totally fine. This is, takes a lot of practice. So to begin, we're gonna do a really small breathing exercise. When you're stressed or nervous or afraid, your breathing pattern changes. So simply taking a deep breath will slow your heart rate. It releases 70% of toxins in your body. And it also just calms the nervous system a little bit, getting us ready to write with a clear mind. So I'm gonna get you to pause the video after I just show you what to do. And I want you to just repeat this breathing exercise three times. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, then just skip on to the next bit. So I want you to breathe in through your nose for five counts. And when you're breathing through your nose, fill your belly rather than your chest. So try and balloon your belly with those five breaths. After that, hold that for a count of three, then breathe out for another five counts. And you're gonna do that three times. So if you wanna pause the video now and do that, Great. Okay, the next small exercise I want you to do is um, practice of mindfulness is about being present, like I explained before, kind of bringing yourself back to the now. And this small exercise, which I want you to do for about three minutes, is to write the starting sentence, I notice. And this will be a bit of free writing for you. And all I want you to do is tap into your senses. So for three minutes, continue on from that sentence and just write as much or as little as you can. If you get stuck, then just repeat the word from before. Now I want you to just write what you notice about what's going around you. So it could be um, what you can hear, what you can smell, what you can feel, what sensations are in your body, what you can see. Maybe notice uh, your feelings. So yeah, we'll try that for three minutes. I notice and it's just some free writing. So don't get too caught up on what, about, what you're writing about. Okay, off we go. Great. So there we've just practiced being um, present and in the moment and hopefully you're feeling quite calm and um, your mind is focused. So the next thing I want us to do is more mindfulness 
uh, for writing. So uh, this exercise is just something that will help you reflect a little bit. And reflection is also something really good in mindfulness because it can help you create gratitude for things and create goals. So this exercise, I want you to think of the colour orange. And I'm going to give you a list. And this is really individual to everybody and it's your interpretation of it. And I want you to just complete these sentences. And again, it doesn't have to be really literal. Take it wherever you want. It can turn into a small piece of poetry if you like. So I want you to just continue on from these and they'll pop up on the screen after I've finished. Orange is the smell of. Orange is the taste of. Orange is the sound of. Orange is the sight of, and orange is the feeling of. Okay, we're going to do exactly the same thing now, but with the colour purple this time. So I'm just going to repeat the list. And again, this is really individual. Tap into any memories or stories that you've got or any feelings, um, anything that's coming to you straight in the present. So the colour purple is the smell of, the taste of, the sound of, the feeling of and the sight of. And these will pop up on a slide just after to remind you. One of my favourite places to get inspiration from um, and also to write is the beach. And because I live so close I feel really lucky and it helps me um, just feel really calm and I really enjoy it. So I went along this morning and I just took a short video of my walk uh, across the beach just for a minute or so and being with nature I think helps you really connect with yourself um, and we all spend time in nature whether it's just walking the streets or looking out the window so it doesn't necessarily have to be something like going to the beach. I want you to take a look at the video and as you watch it I just want you to imagine you are me walking along the beach or it is you, it is what you are seeing. I want you to write a list of everything that you can see or hear and really try to stay present with the video and imagine that you're there. Um, you might want to watch it a couple of times in case you pick up anything new or different. Okay, so you have watched the video now. I want you to look at your list of words that you have and I want you to pick out five key words. You can do this at random or just pick your five favourite words from your list. With these five words, I either want you to A, use those words as stimulus for a short story, which could take you maybe 15 minutes to write, or B, use those five words as stimulus for a poem. And if you're doing a poem, I want you to use each word as the beginning of a new line for your poem. So off you go with that next task. For our next task, I'm going to read a section of a book called Where the Crawdads Sing. Uh, this book is really beautiful. 
in its description of landscape and nature. And I'm just going to read you a small section which describes a shack that one of the main characters lives in and the area surrounding it. Once I've read this section, it'll pop up um, on the screen for you to read again by yourself. And all I'd like us to do is continue on from this paragraph take an inspiration from it, take an inspiration from the description of it, to create your own short story if you can. The shack sat back, which sprawled across sand flats to a necklace of green lagoons, and in the distance, all the marsh beyond. Miles of blade grass so tough it grew in salt water, interrupted only by trees so bent they wore the shape of the wind. Oak forests bunched around the other sides of the shack and sheltered to the closest lagoon, its surface so rich in life it churned. Salt air and gull song drifted through the trees from the sea. So thank you so much for joining me on this workshop. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you've learned a few new skills or taken away some exercises that you could potentially do and use in your practice. And I hope you keep practicing mindfulness, whether it be for yourself or whether it be for your creativity. So thanks very much. Bye.